Now that is an upgrade. She just slapped me for no reason. I know. I think I like her. Hey everyone, get ready because the world of AI avatars just got a massive upgrade. Let's be real, most talking head AI is still a bit janky. You give it an audio clip, it moves the mouth, and that's about it. The expressions are kind of dead, right? You can always tell something is off. Well, a new AI just dropped called AC Talker, and it's a total game changer. Imagine this. You can take the voice from one person, the head movements and facial expressions from another person, and merge them perfectly onto a completely different character. That's what AC Talker does. It can be driven by audio, by motion, or by both at the exact same time. It's coming from a team of researchers at HKUST, Tencent, and Sphinqua, and the results are honestly pretty mind-blowing. In their tests, it's already wiping the floor with the some top models, delivering more realistic and controllable animations than anything we've seen before. All right, enough talk, let's see this thing in action. I'm gonna pull up some demos from their project page, and you need to see this to believe it. First up, a singing demo. Now, fair warning, YouTube's copyright bot is probably gonna have a field day with this, so the audio might get zapped, but just watch the animation. Okay, did you see that? The lip sync is spot on, which is the baseline, but look at the expressions. When the source image is smiling, the result just comes to life and looks incredibly natural. It even nails the more serious looks while keeping that sync perfect. The quality here is just chef's kiss. They even tested it on different art styles. Again, ignore the audio if it gets nuked, but check out how the animation holds up on a realistic photo, then a stylized one, and even black and white. Now I see you in a better place. The lip sync stays tight no matter the style. That is seriously impressive and shows how robust this model is. This thing is in a class of its own. Okay, let's move on to some classic talking head stuff. They took a famous speech from Einstein and applied it to a bunch of different people. First, let's see Einstein himself. Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college, and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. See? It's not just the lips flapping. The head is moving. The eyes are blinking. It feels alive. That's the difference between cheap lip sync and real animation where the rest of the face feels frozen. Now watch this. It continues the same speech, but seamlessly switches to another celebrity. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She only relented a few months later when my parents promised that I would go to college. This was the start in my life. And 17 years later, I did go to college. Again, the sync is great, but you get that natural head movement and blinking that sells the effect. And of course, they had to do Jackie Chan. Let me give you one example. Reed College at that time offered perhaps the best calligraphy instruction in the country. Throughout the campus, every poster, every label on every drawer was beautifully hand calligraphed. Because I had dropped out and didn't have to take the normal classes, I just... Awesome. And get this, they used a long speech from Taylor Swift to show it can handle more than just short clips. This is applied to four different women. Let's watch hers first. I'm Taylor. Last time I was in a stadium this size, I was dancing in heels and wearing a glittery leotard. <laughs> this outfit is much more comfortable. I would like to say a huge thank you to NYU's chairman of the board of trustees, Bill Berkeley, and all the trustees and members of the board, NYU's president, Andrew Hamilton, provost, 
Catherine Fleming, and the faculty and alumni here today who have made this day possible. I feel so proud to share this day with my fellow honorees, Susan Hockfield and Felix Matos Rodriguez, who humble me with the ways they improve our world with their work. As for me, I'm 90% sure the main reason I'm here is because I have a song called 22. That speech was pretty long, so the tool has no problem with longer audio. But here's the crazy part. Pay attention to this. When the crowd cheers in the audio, watch the model. It pauses. It doesn't try to lip sync the cheering. It just waits and her head even gives a little nod. It's smart enough to distinguish the main speaker from background noise. That is next level stuff. Here it is again on a few different people. For example, I had a phase where for the entirety of 2012, I dressed like a 1950s housewife. But you know what? I was having fun. Trends and phases are fun. Looking back and laughing is fun. You and I both learned that you don't always get all the things in the bag that you selected from the menu in the delivery surface that is life. You get what you get. And as I would like to say to you wholeheartedly, you should be very proud of not a single one of us here today has done it alone. We are each a patchwork quilt of those who have loved us, those who have believed in our futures, those who showed us empathy and kindness, or told us the truth even when it wasn't easy to hear. Honestly, I'm blown away. The realism is top notch. If I had to be nitpicky, the eyes can look a tiny bit off sometimes. They don't always seem 100% natural, but that's a minor flaw. This tool is already better than a lot of paid lip sync services out there, which is insane. But remember, AC Talker isn't just about audio. It can also be driven purely by motion. Check this out. They take a single driving video and apply its motions to a whole lineup of different characters. No lip sync here, just pure motion and expression capture. Everyone is moving in perfect sync with the source video. This is a killer feature. And this is where you can spot that tiny eye issue I mentioned. Watch closely when they move side to side. You can sometimes see a little artifacting. It's a small thing, but if they fix that, this model would be nearly flawless. They even have examples of micro motions. This is all about those super subtle movements. No big head turns, just eye darts, airbrow raises, tiny smirks. This flying kiss one is a perfect example. The slight head tilt, the eyes, the way the lips purse, it captures it beautifully across all the characters. It just copies motion incredibly well. Okay, so what happens when you throw both audio and video at it at the same time? This is where things get really interesting and we also see some of its current limits. Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> Today, I wanna tell you three stories from my life. That's it, no big deal. Just three stories. Here, the lip sync is perfect, but you can see the model tones down the expression from the source video a bit. It's not a one-to-one -one copy. And check this one out. The source video has a super exaggerated expression, right? The model tries its best, but it can't quite replicate something that extreme. It dials it back to something more normal looking. The eye movement is copied, but not the wild mouth shape. And one more. I always use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol because alcohol dries your face out and makes you look older. Then moisturizer, then an anti-aging eye balm followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman. In the source, the woman is laughing a lot, but when it's applied to a serious looking photo, the final character says the words with a straight face. So it's not a perfect transfer of emotion yet, which is a key thing to know. It has some limitations. 
And finally, the moment of truth, a side-by-side -side shootout with some other models like Sad Talker and Omo, AC Talker's results are the ones at the end of each lineup. I mean, it's not even close, right? In this last one with the dark reference photo, the other models just kind of fall apart, but AC Talker handles it like a champ. The video quality, the lighting, the natural movement, it's just a clear winner. So those were the examples, and honestly, the results speak for themselves. Now let's talk about how it compares on paper. The researchers put AC Talker in the ring with some of the heavyweights you probably know, like Sad Talker, Hollow, and X Portrait. And honestly, it wasn't even a fair fight. On technical stuff like lip sync accuracy, it just demolishes the competition. And for the overall video quality, like how smooth and clean the video is without weird artifacts, it's way, way ahead. The videos just look better, period. The same goes for when it's only driven by facial motion. It does a much better job of capturing those subtle expressions while making sure the person's face still looks like them, which other models really struggle with. So what's the magic behind this? How does it juggle audio and video inputs without creating a glitchy mess? The tech is nuts, but here's the simple version. It uses a new and super efficient AI architecture called Mamba. Think of it like a new type of AI brain that's way better at handling sequences and video than older models. The team built two separate control lanes within this Mamba brain, one lane just for the audio and one lane just for the motion video. Now, this is the really brilliant part. To stop the two from clashing, it tells the audio lane, hey, you are only allowed to touch the pixels in the mouth region. Then it tells the motion lane, you can handle everything else, the eyes, the ear brows, the head tilt, but you have to stay away from the mouth. By basically giving each input its own job and its own specific part of the face to control, there's no conflict. And get this, you can just flip a switch to turn each lane on or off. Want audio only? Done. Want just the expressions from a video? Easy. Want to blend them both together? You got it. It's ridiculously clever. All right, the big question, can you download it and try it yourself? And the answer is kinda. The good news is the code is already up on GitHub and I'll drop the link in the description for you. The not so good news is they haven't uploaded the actual pre-trained model weights yet. That's super common for a brand new paper, so we'll just have to be a little patient. As for the hardware you'll need to run this beast, they haven't listed the official requirements, but since it's built on top of stable video diffusion, you're gonna need a beefy graphics card. I'm guessing you'll want at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM, maybe even 24 to be safe. So, you know, start saving up. So yeah, that's AC Talker. This is a massive update for creating believable digital humans. The ability to mix and match speech and emotion from different sources is going to unlock so many creative possibilities. I am genuinely hyped to see what people guild with this once it's fully out in the wild. What do you think is the killer app for this? Next level VTubing, super realistic AI assistance, or something else entirely? Drop your biggest ideas down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.